Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today I'm sitting in the hot seat. We are in one of the cruise heads on the destroyer USS Kidd, which is a museum ship in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, famous for her role in Tom Hanks' movie Greyhound. One of the scenes they did not show in Greyhound, and that you don't get to see on many museum ships, is the head, or the bathroom. They're called the head because traditionally on sailing ships they would have been at the head of the ship where either the figurehead, the ornate wooden carving, or the billet head, the slightly less ornate, uh, often on American ships it's just a round thing with a star in the center, um, were. And the space behind that, you would walk out onto the bowsprit and down and there would be um, some benches with slats like this and just pipes leading straight down into the ocean. And this was at the head of the ship because the wind is blowing from a stern of you, so all that smell goes out in front of you instead of being blown back towards the officer staterooms at the back of the ship. Now, that tradition is no longer true by World War II, but a surprising number of those features do still hold true. First of all, the head is now no longer at the head of the ship. We're, we're pretty far aft um, on the main deck of the ship. However, the concept of communally using the bathroom on uh, these slats with wooden benches and washing it straight out into the ocean uh, was still true for World War II ships. It wasn't until the 1970s that the Navy started to add holding tanks on their ships to hold the sewage if they were within international waters. Now, if you're out in the middle of the ocean, it still gets pumped overboard, but in harbor, you're not pumping it directly off anymore. Kid is portrayed in her World War II appearance where this wasn't the case. So, uh, you can see we've got these troughs with slats on them. This is what Battleship New Jersey would have had from when she was built in the 1940s all the way up until the end of her Vietnam commission in most places. Some of the toilets were replaced with, with traditional porcelain commodes, but uh, by and large it was like this until 1982 when they modernized some of the head facilities, and by the end of the 80s, the, the period you see the ship in right now, uh, as she would have looked around 1990, has no more of these left. Uh, and this is real simple. Everybody lines up, does their business, and then there is a valve right here that you open, and it puts seawater into the trough and washes everything out. Now, You'll notice the seat I'm sitting on is painted red, the hot seat. Uh, this is the one that uh, guys who brought social diseases back to the ship would have to use. And nobody else would use this one so that they're not possibly infecting uh, more of the crew by using the same bathrooms. And the doctor would disinfect this particular seat pretty often. Uh, and then you see as antibiotics start to uh, be used to fight social diseases, immediately post-World War II, uh, this tradition goes away. So on modern ships, you're not going to see something like this. Another cool feature in here are the original World War II urinals. Uh, and the coolest thing here is we're, we're on a destroyer, a, a 2,200-ton tin can that's going to be rocking and rolling. So there's a handle at each commode so you can hang on and do your business no matter what the sea state is doing to you. I'm not sure if Battleship New Jersey, being slightly more stable in most uh, weather conditions, would have had something like this, or if it's uh, purely a destroyer thing. In any event, uh, it's a real cool feature. Something else you'll notice in this space is you go through this door and you're in a five inch upper handling room feeding ammunition to the uh, Mount 54 directly above us, the super firing aft turret. On, on these Fletcher class destroyers, these handling rooms are built right in wherever they need to go to feed the ammunition. So there, there's one below, uh, basically in the passageway around some berthing compartments. Uh, this guy's right here in the bathroom. Notice. There's basically just a curtain between the bathroom 
and the ready service ammunition. Uh, and, and that's great. You're a gunner's mate. You're, you're in here on the hot seat because you had a, a great time in Subic Bay recently and uh, Japanese kamikazes come at you and you can go right in there where you need to be and start passing ammunition. I absolutely love the restoration of USS Kidd because in addition to seeing spaces like handling rooms and the captain's cabin and the bridge, you get to go through cruise life spaces like these bathrooms that you don't get to see on most museum ships. Uh, on, on Battleship New Jersey, we, we only recently opened one up as a display, and uh, that you're just looking in through the door. We didn't do a full restoration, but KID has made it so that the tour route brings you through here, and you can learn more about ship life and, and say, wow, it was really different back then. I couldn't have done that. I, I, I'm bladder shy. I can't use the bathroom with everybody else sitting here watching me. I, it's a really amazing museum experience. If you would like to support their continued restoration of KID, there's a link in the description below so you can donate to the museum so they can keep adding spaces like this to the tour route. What are some similar cruise life spaces you would like to see opened on Battleship New Jersey that uh, maybe you've seen on other museum ships or maybe you suspect a ship should have but you've never gotten to see before? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and uh, private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support, and uh, please show your support by donating to USS Kid and tell them where you found out about them. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people find out about our museum and what we do. Thanks for watching.